In this video you are going to see a compilation of the best tech demos from PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 4. 20 years of PlayStation is a lot, but you can get a glimpse of the evolution of this console.今回発表されたのはソニーコンピューターエンターテイメントが東芝と共同で開発した世界最高水準の半導体を使った次世代プレイステーションですコンピューターグラフィックスを活用した映画と同じ画質でゲームを楽しめるのが最大の特徴です
You reach in, get some more water. Get some water and throw it across the room. All of this just using a standard iToy camera but connected directly into PlayStation 3. In this demonstration, we have a real-time vortex controlling all of the hundreds of thousands of leaves that you can see in real time. Plus, we've got 5.1 surround sound being created in real time. In fact, the cell has so much power that every one of the leaves could have its own audio channel if you wanted to hear them rustle. You can see as we move the camera around that the light moves around also over the face. And this uses uh, a very special technique which is pioneered by, once again, a guy called Paul Debevic uh, using light stage data. And we can move the light around over the face and you can see that the shadows are cast realistically and even the light reflects and transmits through the ears. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, the cell processor allows us to get that level of detail into our 3D computer graphics. We can also change to different light stages to show in real time um, image-based lighting where we're using the environment to light the character here in a forest glade, uh, lighting the Alfred Molina character in real time. And uh, you can see as we move the high dynamic range in and out, you get a phenomenal level of detail. We also were able to put this into the, the movie performance and use some of the sound from the movie to bring the whole thing together. And let's take a look at that. Something in my head. Something talking. Now sadly, Alfred Molina couldn't be with us today, but we decided to light him as if he was. And we took a light probe from this room earlier on today. And here, this is what he would have looked like if he had been lit in real time by uh, this lighting in this room. And you can see the light probe data lighting the character. And as we move into the eyes in particular, you can see the fantastic reflections that this gives us. Now, this is going to just give you some idea of the level of intensity and immersion that we're going to get from games on PlayStation 3 and the amount of storytelling ability that we will have working with amazing creators and amazing actors. It's a great demonstration. In 1999, Quantic Dream's first game, Omicron, featured characters with 350 polygons. Indigo Prophecy's main characters were around 1,500 polys. Heavy Rain's characters were about 15,000. Chara at 20,000. This year, Jody Holmes and Beyond will be about 30,000 polygons. On PlayStation 4, this is what you can get. Quantic Dream has developed a completely new engine. What you see is running in real-time 3D on a PlayStation 4. It is our first attempt at using advanced skin shaders with translucency, realistic eyes shaders, volumetric lights, 3D depth of field, and many, many other features that were up until today reserved to CG films. This is the quality that we will get in our future games, and we know we can go even further. But more important than these technical features, we, we start to reach a point where you can see very subtle emotions on the face of a character, where you can feel his emotions just looking at his face, where you can see his soul just looking into his eyes. When you look at this old man, you can imagine who he is, what he thinks, what happened to him, without him saying a word. Now, earlier I said we were using a highly enhanced PC GPU. Principally, we've modified the GPU to make compute easier, which is to say, we've made it practical to use the GPU as a general purpose computational device. This next live demo is a million object physics simulation from Havoc. This is primarily running on the GPU, not the CPU. Tasks that can fully occupy the CPU cores will be achievable using just a fraction of the PlayStation 4 GPU. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.